polyploid cells and organisms are those containing more than two paired sets of chromosomes. Most species whose cells have nuclei are diploid, meaning they have two sets of chromosomes or Euro one set inherited from each parent. However, polyploidy is found in some organisms and is especially common in plants. In addition, polyploidy occurs in some tissues of animals that are otherwise diploid, such as human muscle tissues. This is known as endopolyploidy. Species whose cells do not have nuclei, that is, prokaryotes, may be polyploid organisms, as seen in the large bacterium Epulopysium fischelsoni, 1. Hence ploidy is defined with respect to a cell. Most eukaryotes have diploid somatic cells, but produce haploid gametes by meiosis. A monoploid has only one set of chromosomes, and the term is usually only applied to cells or organisms that are normally diploid. Male bees and other hymenoptera, for example, are monoploid. Unlike animals, plants and multicellular algae have life cycles with two alternating multicellular generations. The gametophyte generation is haploid, and produces gametes by mitosis, the sporophyte generation is diploid and produces spores by meiosis. Polyploidy refers to a numerical change in a whole set of chromosomes. Organisms in which a particular chromosome, or chromosome segment, is under or overrepresented are said to be aneuploid. Therefore the distinction between aneuploidy and polyploidy is that aneuploidy refers to a numerical change in part of the chromosome set, whereas polyploidy refers to a numerical change in the whole set of chromosomes. Polyploidy may occur due to abnormal cell division either during mitosis, or commonly during metaphase I in meiosis. Polyploidy occurs in some animals, such as goldfish, salmon, and salamanders, but is especially common among ferns and flowering plants, including both wild and cultivated species. Wheat, for example, after millennia of hybridization and modification by humans, has strains that are diploid. To traploid with a common name of durum or macaroni wheat, and hexaploid with a common name of bread wheat. Many agriculturally important plants of the genus Brassica are also to traploids. Polyploidy can be induced in plants and cell cultures by some chemicals, the best known as colchicine, which can result in chromosome doubling, though its use may have other less obvious consequences as well. Orislin will also double the existing chromosome content. Types Polyploid types are labeled according to the number of chromosome sets in the nucleus. The letter X is used to represent the number of chromosomes in a single set. Triploid, for example seedless watermelons, common in the phylum tardigrada, to traploid, for example salmonidae fish, the cotton gossypium hirsutum, pentaploid, for example kenai birch, hexaploid, for example wheat, kiwifute, heptaploid or septaploid. Octaploid or octoploid, for example, acetensa, dahlias, decaploid, for example, certain strawberries, dodecaploid, for example, the plant Celosia argenti or the invasive one Spartina anglica or the amphibian Xenopus ruins oriensis. Animals, examples in animals are more common in non vertebrates such as flatworms, leeches, and brine shrimp. Within vertebrates, Examples of stable polyploidy include the salmonids and many cyprinids. Some fish have as many as 400 chromosomes. Polyploidy also occurs commonly in amphibians. For example the biomedically important Sinopus genus contains many different species with as many as 12 sets of chromosomes. Polyploid lizards are also quite common, but are sterile and must reproduce by parthenogenesis. Polyploid mole salamanders are all female and reproduce by kleptogenesis, stealing spermatophores from diploid males of related species to trigger egg development but not incorporating the male's DNA into the offspring. While mammalian liver cells are polyploid, rare instances of polyploid mammals are known, but most often result in prenatal death. An octodontid rodent of Argentina's harsh desert regions, known as the Plains Viscaca rat has been reported as an exception to this rule. However, careful analysis using chromosome paints shows that there are only two copies of each chromosome in T. barrarae, not the four expected if it were truly a tetraploid. The rodent is not a rat, but kin to guinea pigs and chinchillas. Its new diploid, 2N, 
number is 102 and so its cells are roughly twice normal size. Its closest living relation is Octomys mimax, the Andean Viscaca rat of the same family, whose 2 and equals 56. It was therefore surmised that an Octomys like ancestor produced a traploid offspring that were, by virtue of their doubled chromosomes, reproductively isolated from their parents. Polyploidy was induced in fish by Harsarup using a cold shock treatment of the eggs close to the time of fertilization, which produced triploid embryos that successfully matured. Cold or heat shock has also been shown to result in unreduced amphibian gametes, though this occurs more commonly in eggs than in sperm. John Gurdon transplanted intact nuclei from somatic cells to produce diploid eggs in the frog, Sinopus that were able to develop to the tadpole stage. The British scientist, J. B. S. Haldane hailed the work for its potential medical applications and, in describing the results, became one of the first to use the word a euro o e clonia euro in reference to animals. Later work by Shinya Yamanaka show how mature cells can be reprogrammed to become pluripotent, extending the possibilities to non-stem cells. Gurdon and Yamanaka were jointly awarded the Nobel Prize in 2012 for this work. Equals humans equals. True polyploidy rarely occurs in humans, although polyploid cells occur in highly differentiated tissue, such as liver parenchyma and heart muscle, and in bone marrow. Aneuploidy is more common. Polyploidy occurs in humans in the form of triploidy, with 69 chromosomes, and tetraploidy with 92 chromosomes. Triploidy, usually due to polyspermy, occurs in about 2 a euro 3% of all human pregnancies and 15% of miscarriages. The vast majority of triploid conceptions end as a miscarriage. Those that do survive to term typically die shortly after birth. In some cases, survival past birth may extend longer if there is mixaploidy with both a diploid and a triploid cell population present. Triploidy may be the result of either degeny or diandry. Diandry is mostly caused by reduplication of the paternal haploid set from a single sperm, but may also be the consequence of dispermic fertilization of the egg. Degeny is most commonly caused by either failure of one meiotic division during eugenesis leading to a diploid oocyte or failure to extrude one polar body from the oocyte. Diandry appears to predominate among early miscarriages, while degeny predominates among triploidy that survives into the fetal period. However, among early miscarriages, degeny is also more common in those cases. 